Ever ponder over the recent fluctuations in cryptocurrency? Let's take a dive into the recent roller coaster ride Bitcoin experienced. And it all started with a post from the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, also known as the SEC. Imagine this. The SEC posts on social media that new exchange traded funds or ETFs for Bitcoin got approval. The crypto world buzzed with excitement. Bitcoin, in response, took a little leap, soaring close to $48,000. But then, plot twist. The SEC deleted the post and announced that their account had been compromised. As the news spread, Bitcoin, as if on a bungee cord, dropped down to $46,000. The now-deleted post, which appeared on the SEC's account at 4 p.m. Washington time, stated that the SEC had approved Bitcoin ETFs to be listed on all registered national securities exchanges. This news spread like wildfire, being shared rapidly by social media users and news platforms alike. But before long, the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, clarified the situation with a post from his own account. He stated that the SEC's account had been compromised and an unauthorized tweet had been posted. He noted that the SEC had not approved the listing and trading of products traded on the spot Bitcoin exchange. A spokesperson for the SEC told the BBC, the SEC detected unauthorized access and activity on the at secgovx.com account by an unknown party shortly after 4 p.m. They added, this unauthorized access has been terminated. The SEC will work with law enforcement and government partners to investigate the matter and determine the steps to be taken regarding both the unauthorized access and any abuse. Following the incident, X confirmed that it had completed a preliminary investigation into the false post on the SEC's account. They found no breach of their systems. The security breach, they said, resulted from an unidentified individual gaining control of a phone number associated with the at SecGov account via a third party. They also confirmed that two-factor authentication was not active on the account at the time it was compromised. In the wake of this incident, it's expected that the SEC will make a statement this week following applications from some asset management firms for approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs. If approved, Bitcoin will have the ability to be bought and sold on the exchange, just like regular stocks. Exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, are portfolios that allow investors to trade across multiple assets without having to purchase any one asset. The value of ETFs traded on the stock exchange, like stocks, varies depending on the real-time performance of the overall portfolio. Some ETFs already indirectly include Bitcoin, but a spot Bitcoin ETF would allow for the direct purchase of the cryptocurrency on the spot at its current price throughout the day. To sum it up, a single post caused a whirlwind of activity in the Bitcoin market. The swift rise and fall of Bitcoin's value in response to this incident serves as a stark reminder of the volatility of cryptocurrency markets. As we move forward, it's clear that the impact of such fluctuations can have significant implications for Bitcoin and the wider crypto world.